Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Hub Planet Okara Free Roam for Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Now this one, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up all the collectibles and we're going to... Uh, Add just some quick links down below as well so that you guys can quickly make it through to each of the items that you need. So here we are in the moon base. We're going to go over to the first door on the right, I guess, or left, depending on which way of the moon base you're looking at. And we're going to build up the slideways teleporter and slip on through to the other side. Here we go. We pop out the little pink hole there. Giggity. And we'll go ahead and hop in to our first quest. So uh, this, as always on these hub planets, uh, the first quest is going to be the tour. Uh, this will usually wrap you around the entire planet. And you'll have to usually take out a few bad guys along the way. So we are going to do that. And we have sped this up quite a little. And uh, we'll make our way around and see what Ukara has to offer. Like I said, there are a few stops along the ways that we will be stopped and attacked. Here's the first one. And we'll get our cha-cha-cha-cha-cha on. And we'll take a couple of uh, these dudes out. Not to dinner, but like taking out. Removal. See ya. All right. After the first group's done, old, old Daffy, a.k.a. Green Lantern, will then make his way around. And it seems as though the closer we get to him, the faster he runs. So I just try to stay right on his tail. And we're just wrapping around. Like I said, it does make it all the way through and show you all the different quests, objectives, and uh, gold bricks, the races that you will find on this level. And hey, if you guys have already completed this, I highly suggest you go down and click the next quick link down below, which will be gold brick number one. Or maybe you're only looking for character tokens or something like that, or Adam West. Go ahead and quickly click the quick link that you need to make it to what you need. I don't know. I'm having a rough day speaking today, and that's, that's a tongue twister in itself. Quickly click the quick link. That's right. Say it. Try it. Okay, so we are over halfway through this quest, and we can see there's a nice little race there. That was a fun one. Oh no, we're getting rushed again. Pow that guy right in the kiss of him too. Oh, Billy. All right, get some get some studage. At this point, we don't really need any studage. We have well beyond any studs that we would need for from here on out. As you can see, we've got nine billion. Of course, we still have the characters and I believe a few vehicles that we need to purchase. But all in all, that's that's going to be a few a few million at most. So, yay! Finally done. Whew. Those are the long ones. We only have what one more if you're following along. I think or no, two more. There's two more Hub Planet videos that are in the works as of the recording of this one. So we'll take that gold brick from old Green Lantern and we will bounce out and move to another gold brick. So we're gonna switch to Superman because he can fly up high. And there's this little uh, tower over here. It's kind of busted up and leaning to the left a little bit, or right, depending on which side you're looking at. And we're going to need a character that can grapple but also fly because as soon as we're done grappling, we need to drop a level down below and flip the switch, and then we got to fly up high. Now it is kind of, uh, kind of misleading in the sense that you'll need poison ivy uh, because there's a poison ivy patch there, but you don't need it at all. It's, it does work to get up there, but flying is just as easy. So however you choose to get up there, grab that gold brick and let's roll out to the next objective, which is uh, a character vehicle token. Now you may have noticed on our tour or just flying around right now, that there are a series of bouncing blue Batman flags. We're going to take all of them out. I believe there's 10. Yep, there is 10. So we're going to start off on one end and just work our way across. Now, if you're having troubles finding maybe one or two of them, there are two in the water submerged. And they're even kind of hard to get with the old heat ray. But we zap them and we keep on keeping on. So there's the second one in the water. They're both kind of uh, submerged. And then the final one's going to be over here hiding behind this larger rock. And Buyuka Shao, all 10 down within the allotted time. And we open up the Orange Lantern spacecraft. So we'll have to take that for a spinsies here in a little bit. All right. Now, right over on the other side of the lake, there is a pile of bricks 
next to this little cave. So we're going to bust those open and we find some digging spots. We switched on over to Alfred to do the digging up the dirty work. And uh, hopefully that's not the same <laughs> tray he uses to bring us our supper on. That'd be kind of gross. Anyways, we, uh, we go ahead and we dig that up and we build up the bricks that we find. And guess what? It's a grapple hook. So get your grapple on. Spam, spam, spam that button. And inside that little miniature cave is a character vehicle token for Cyborg Sports Car. So we'll certainly be doing some burnouts and some e-brakes and that thing here in a wee bit. So upsies and oversies. Oh, to the next glowing light there. We kind of ran right by it. We were like, Which, where to go? But here we go. We're right on top now, and it's actually Adam West. He is trapped under a silver box, so we're going to switch on over to Batman in the power suit and get our Booyaka Shao on. This is kind of a funny angle. I'm not sure what or why I did that, but uh, I apologize for that inside look at Batman there. But uh, go ahead and blow it up with dropping a bomb or shooting one, and Adam will jump out in uh, complete happiness. Woohoo! He's dancing a jig up there. All right, all right. All right, next glowing beam of light that we find that's close by happens to be right over here. There's another one of those little caves that has a door on it. So we got to find out how to open it, but we see there's a switch right across the river here, or the, the water, the lake, the whichever, and uh, the creek. We'll go ahead and press that button after we put the fire out, of course, and hop over and grab our character token for the Fierce Flame. All right, moving along to the next gold brick. There's a race right over here. And uh, we saw this one on our tour, if I do remember. These are a little tricky, and I've got to tell you, uh, I was pretty close on failing on a couple of these. Like, how did I not go through there? But I ended up making it just in the nick of time. And all right, I have another close call in the next race that's like, I don't think it gets any closer. I didn't really stop it to look, but it looks really close, especially when I've got this video sped up a little bit, so... All right, get all the way through to that purple gate and collect your gold brick for doing so. And then we'll move on over to the next beam of light, which happens to be another gold brick. This one is kind of tricky. There's a, a little body of water, and we can see that the little halo of light is inside this structure. So we can see that there, this water has some goodies down below. So we'll switch on over to a character that has a dive suit. And uh, unfortunately, once we switched to Batman, you needed to be on land in order to switch to the suit. So we had to get back up there. And then you can see the switch hiding behind the wall there and under a little bit of a palm leaf. So kick that palm leaf, show them who's boss, and step on that switch, which will actually open that door and allow access inside to some treasure. Treasure! We'll see, though. What, what, what do we got to do? I'm sure there's some more dirty work involved in this brick. Once we get inside here, oh no, there's a bunch of guys rushing us. And uh, this is, there's a funny moment here, a little blooper. Uh, it it's almost appears as though the bad guys are going to come forever. And then it seems like they've stopped. So I jump up and I try to put out this fire because clearly two of these little cauldrons or fire pits are on fire and two of them aren't. So I'm not aware of any character that has fire. So I know I can put the fire out. So I try to put it out over and over and over. I try all sorts of different angles. Finally, I realize there's those two guys left. So... Make sure you take out all the bad guys around, and if uh, make sure you swing your camera around all the way if you think they're all gone. You never know what you might find, but take them all out, and you will be rewarded with a gold brick. It's kind of a weird floating studage thing there. All right, here, out in the middle of nowhere in the water, we're going to uh, find ourselves another little character token here, so... Switch to a dive suit yet again, and you will see out here a, a box. It's like a chest. And we'll go ahead and cha-cha it. And inside is Red Bird Cycle that belongs to Robin. So we'll go ahead and do some burnouts in that, too. We'll drive it like we stole it. All right, we're going to switch to Superman to get our fly on on this next objective here for a gold brick. It's a race. I hope I win. All right, there we go. This one's really tricky. It's like back and forth. It's not a standard race, and I did have to do this one once or twice, so don't feel too bad if you have to do it once or twice. And if you did it on your first try, hooray! Congratulations. Look at me. I flew around that thing like four times, went over it, under it, finally make it through, and give me that gold brick. Oh, yeah. Oh, to the K. We're going to head over to the next beam of light. 
which is actually a quest as well. So we got our quest finder on, which is why that blue triangle is there, just in case you were wondering. And this one's called The Need for Greed. And uh, basically, he wants us to go and, uh, well, we have to go take care of some business for him, as usual. I mean, it's a quest, right? You knew you had to do something crazy. And uh, all right, so what we got to do is follow him around, and uh, eventually he'll take us to the promised land. No, I'm just kidding. He takes us to some bad guys that need some schmacking, and we'll go ahead and take all of them out. There is, what, 20, 20 of them, yeah. And once all 20 of them have been uh, relieved of their duty, so to speak, we get one last little commentary from the Green Lantern before he rewards us with our gold brick. So we appreciate all the nice shiny bricks he kicks down for us. We're actually getting pretty close. Look at that. Uh, not quite a home stretch, but we are um, getting close. High percentage value per sh for sure. Ooh, here's, we saw this on our tour, a little glass door here, which we can take out with our sonar. So switch to Batman and the sonar suit. I would imagine there's another character or two that has some sonar abilities. Off the top of my head, I am not coming up with any, so because we know you have Batman and the sonar suit, for sure, we're going to go ahead and use that. And inside, we've got a lot of stuff to take out, so... Go ahead and destroy it. Just think of like a police raid on a bad guy's house. Just destroy everything. No mercy. And uh, all right, look at that. We found some bouncing bricks. So build them up into a switch and flip it, and we'll collect that gold brick. So maybe we're a thief ourselves stealing that gold brick. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. All right, another quest. This one. What does this one require? I don't remember. Oh, that's right, that's right. We have to track down this souvenir that he has lost. I'm not sure if he lost it or if it was confiscated. Either way, we got to go retrieve it for him. So uh, we're going to start off. If you noticed, our butler disappeared there, old Alfred, because uh, I did an edit as well. Um, but uh, we're going to have to fly up in the sky and actually behind us, across from where the mission is starting, we're going to uh, find some bats. And so we're going to go batty, switch on over to our sensor suit and use the scan, which will reveal some studs pointing in a general direction, which we will follow that to another little batty situation. So we'll switch back to our sensor suit and scan one more time, which again points us in the general direction. Oh, and look at that. There's some gold bricks on the side of that wall over there. So we'll go ahead and switch to somebody with heat ray. I go ahead and make it simple and switch on over to the space suit. Space suit! Space suit! And then melt it down. And what do we find inside? Oh, you guessed it. It's the item in question. So now because we have our quest finder on, we have the ability to go right to that blue triangle, which leads us right to old Green Lantern. And we'll hand it on over, and he will be grateful and as always, he will actually kick down with a nice shiny gold brick to add to our collection. So look at me dancing around, threatening him with my batarang. That's right, because I'm Batman. All right, come on, come on, come on. Give us gold brick already. All right. Like I said before, these uh, missions are hilarious, and they're fun to watch when you're playing. But as far as these videos go, they could certainly be a little shorter. All right, now, you might have noticed that there was a race right up above where that first bat sense was, so we're going to go ahead and take it out right now, which happens to be gold brick number six. So, bum, 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 and we are off. This one is a little tricky, and this is the one that I was talking about earlier that I don't know if I could have gotten any closer to failing without, not, well, without failing. So, we'll see here. It comes up. I miss one here in a minute. I think it's this one. Maybe there's another race. Oh, nope, I'm getting close. Oh, look at that. Look, uh, Oh, that was like 0.3 or something. That was close. Oh, and again. Woo, that was a double whammy, and you'd think no way is he getting it done. But I do. I used a little turbo boost there and somehow was able to control it. And I maneuver all the way through and back through that purple hoop. And booyaka shao. Gold brick is ours. So here we go. We got another quest. What does he want us to do now? Sheesh. We're, aren't we tired of doing his errands? I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired. Good thing there's only a couple levels left, huh? 
So, yeah. So, you know, I know a few of you guys have mentioned along the way that uh, you guys are not getting the, um, the, the lights, the rays of light that kind of guide you to all the objectives. You might try turning on the quest finder. That might have been what happened. You guys may have turned off the red brick or something. I, I haven't turned it on or off to verify that. And there could be a game bug that, uh, you know. But. Anyways, all right, back to this quest. We actually have to smack Green Loontern around a little bit. And I wasn't sure exactly what was required at first, but you do. You have to chase him down and smack him. So maybe a batarang or some heat ray to kind of stun him and then run up and pow him right in the kisser. And uh, knock that beak around. Remember how that Bugs used to always shoot his beak off and knock it spinning around and stuff? Knock his block off. That's right. All right. Gold brick is ours for completing that. And we see we've got one more gold brick to do, which let's see. What on earth could it be? Ooh, it's another puzzle. So we follow to the beam of light over here, which happens to be another one of these giant uh, buildings. I don't know, cathedrals or some sort of... Um, it's pretty cool, but uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and melt the gold out front, which doesn't do us anything, and then we realize, oh, there's a strongman wall, so go ahead and pow that and knock it down, and inside there is a gold statue along with two silver boxes, or a box and a statue, so we'll need Batman in the old power suit, and we'll go ahead and drop a bomb, drop it like it's hot, and boo you can shout those up. And then it reveals that there's actually one more gold box. So go ahead and melt that down and collect your gold brick for doing so. All right, one more quest, and that'll wrap up this area. So we'll go ahead and, oh, and look at that. It's Bat Cow. Now, the old Bat Cow, he wants us to teach him how to fly. And, of course, we don't have the knowledge. It's a special ability. Now, he thinks that there is somebody around here that can help him with that so he can rain milky justice down on society's villains. Those are his words, not mine. And uh, I think he is utterly mistaken that that would be a possibility for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, anyways, that was terrible. Uh, all right, we just follow him around. Basically, there are a few bad guys that pop up along the way. Eventually, we... Follow him to the uh, a character that I'm not even going to try to. I know a couple of you guys have helped me uh, phonetically spell out his name, but it's uh, Old Sparkle Bums. You know, the guy that kind of jumps around and little stars come out of his bum. Yeah, mix, mixed a pixel or something like that. I don't know. All right, so another group of bad guys pop up. Like I said, there's two or three more of them. I don't remember how many, but eventually we make it to the old Mr. Sparkle Bum. And I probably should have sped this up a little bit more than I did, shouldn't I? Hmm. It's all right, though. Ah, uh, Murr! All right, we'll follow the old bat cow. I love that he's got a cape on his hindquarters. And uh, a little bit of a... Oh, there he is over there! Woohoo! There and, and look at that. We've got plenty of dialogue left, too, because there's lots of video left, so... These guys will have a nice little conversation between the... Uh, oh, and look at that. The old Timmy joke, too. That's a nice running joke throughout this, huh? Oh, and there's Sparkle Bum. Told you. I don't know what kind of diet he's on, but uh, I don't know if that's going to be good for his health. Certainly not good for anyone's nostrils nearby. I guess you got a cow around, too. That, that can't be fun. Speaking of cow, you guys should hop over to Facebook and ask me about my recent purchase via the Internet on Black Friday. That's right. I had I had a I had a purchase that is pretty <laughs> pretty ridiculous, and I'll probably do a video on it once it arrives because I couldn't cancel it. Anyways, we finished that quest up after a long sequence. We do get the Bat Cow character token, which look at that. We only have a handful of locked character tokens left, so you know the end is near. And uh, we get a gold brick as well. And after a quick look at the planetary structure here. We find which way, oh, which way did it go? Which way did it go? One of these days. Okay, there's Okara, and look at that. We got all the collectibles, all seven gold bricks, all five quests, all four character vehicle tokens, and, of course, Adam West. So, hey, that's it. That's going to wrap up LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham's Hub Planet Okara Free Room. And uh, as always, we hope you enjoyed the video as well as found it useful. 
Um, I know some of you guys were talking about not having those little beams of light, knowing where those quests and stuff are, and this video would certainly help if that's the case. So let us know and uh, get involved on our social pages like Facebook, Twitter, and of course commenting down below is always acceptable. And hey, if you guys enjoy the series and uh, you're a video gamer, then you know don't be ashamed to click that subscribe button. Uh, we certainly would love to have you around, and it certainly helps us put our content right in front of your ocular cavities or eyeballs, depending on. Uh, you know how you like to talk about your eyes some people are kind of shy shy about your eye you know what I'm saying all right I don't know where I'm going with that so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up once more as always until next time moo 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 moo